Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very exciting video because it will be my first installment on skincare actives. Where I will try to research as much as possible and give you a detailed yet precise information about all the awesome products available in the skincare market and why you may or may not need some of them. And today I will be talking about ascorbic acid aka vitamin C. So let's begin. Before we jump onto vitamin C, I wanted to briefly explain what skincare actives are. Skincare actives are ingredients in your products that's meant to address certain skin concerns. For example, like treating acne, anti-aging, skin brightening, and to be honest, the list is pretty extensive. So you can have a pretty basic skincare routine where you just cleanse, moisturize, and sun protect, or you can level up and add actives in your skincare routine. Now that we know what skincare actives are, let's learn a little bit about vitamin C. So it's popular to begin with its brightening capabilities, but these days it is mostly used for preventing clinical signs of aging. Yes, you heard it right. So I went ahead and read some research papers on this, so you don't have to. And here's what I found. Skincare aging is mainly caused by UV rays and ROS. Not this ROS, but reactive oxygen species, also known as free radicals. Free radicals are teeny tiny molecules that are present everywhere, from plants to animals, inside our bodies and outside on our skin. They are highly reactive molecules that can easily mess up important cellular processes, damaging DNA, proteins and membranes causing cell inflammation and aging. Free radicals on our skin are caused due to UV rays, cigarette smoking, and alcohol consumption. So how exactly does vitamin C help prevent aging? Well, since free radicals are desperate to react with something, vitamin C goes ahead and does exactly that, disabling the radicals' ability to react with other molecules and prevent skin damage. So vitamin C acts as an antioxidant and helps skin brightening as well. Now let's learn about the types of vitamin C. There are basically two types of vitamin C. Pure vitamin C or L-ascorbic acid or vitamin C derivatives that are derived from ascorbic acid. Pure vitamin C came first in the market and are highly potent and effective, which our skin cells absorb directly and help give faster brightening effects. The strength can range from 5% all the way up to 20%. These formulas are highly unstable, making them oxidize fast and causing low shelf life. So you would need to store them in refrigerators and use them really fast. On the other hand, vitamin C derivatives are not absorbed directly and the skin cells therefore need to convert them first to pure vitamin C and then is able to absorb it. Even if you use a 20% derivative, your skin will absorb way less than that. Unlike pure vitamin C, derivatives are highly stable and you can store them like a normal product, eliminating the storage and shelf life issues associated with pure vitamin C. I hope you learned something about vitamin C today and they are really wonderful if you know how to use them correctly. Well, here comes my disclaimer, I am not a dermatologist, I am just a skincare enthusiast. If you actually have like serious skin problems or skin concerns, then go see a dermatologist and not just, you know, WebMD it. Stay far away from like home remedy like junk which tells you to you know like put some drops of lemon juice and then slather it on your skin. No, don't do that. Lemons belong in your beverages like lemonade and iced tea, and lemon tea, but not on your face. So please stay away from those kind of home remedies. Uh, I will link some uh, important resources in the description, some YouTube channels and some Instagram accounts who I refer to usually if I have any skincare problems. So that is it for today and I'll see you in my next one. Toodles! Okay, bye!